here we are burrito against baguette my friends and this is another rec roulette game these are submitted by viewers on my discord now i've hidden the elos and we've hidden the names so we don't know who's matching up we don't know what level this is and we don't know what's going to happen other than the fact that we are on northern isles we got baguette against burrito france Franks against uh, the Turks, and you start with a transport ship on Northern Isles. And that's exactly what the players are using it for right now, is scouting around. You Other than that, it's a pretty standard type of Team Island start. You. Obviously, you've got the gold and the stone in the middle here, and there's lots of fish to be taken advantage of. Yo, Sarek, thank you for the gifts of the Wally. Good gifter. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Is this the Pokeball map? Kind of a little bit of a Pokeball, right? Does anyone remember when Controller Player was playing Northern Isles and I landed my own island? I just want to I just want to point out that Nilly also did the same thing, not playing on a controller. I just want to point that out. He did exactly the same thing as me. So Yes. <clears throat> that doesn't make it okay. All right. Well, if they land their own island, then whatever. Remember, it was on Empire Wars. It wasn't on a standard RM map. It was Empire Wars. I sent the Vils right away. I landed right away. I didn't have time to scout everything. I didn't have time. I was under the. I was on the clock. I was on the clock. Also, want to bring up the fact. That on this Northern Isles map, okay, folks, I want to bring this up. It's very important. I did beat a player who was 1950 RM1v1 rating. Now, granted, it was an Empire Wars, but I was on controller and I beat him. And I think he was a Smurf for a higher rated account. So I just want to bring that. I just, I just thought I just thought I'd bring that up. You know. <clears throat> Copium? Yeah, it is copium. Okay, so what does Burrito do here with Turks? What does uh, Baguette do here with Franks? You have the transport ship, so it makes landing a lot more possible on Northern Isles. Uh, you don't have to invest into that, so you could go for Feudal Age Military. Easier than you might be able to on, like, Team Islands or regular islands. Which makes Franks not that bad, right? Franks can go for the scout pressure if they want to. Turks can also, maybe if you want to play an FC, they can get a castle down and maybe go for Janissaries. Could be a play. Landed your own island. That's freaking hilarious. It makes it okay if you want. No, I quit as soon as I realized that. <laughs> I already had I already had two stables. I think he had two stables and an archery range down already producing. And I had nowhere to go. Now, what do we think the ratings are so far? We've got a dock up from Red before he brings in the first boar. That's great. That's a good sign. We had a dock up coming from Teal a little bit late after he brought in the first boar. So that's not the greatest thing in the world. Does have five on wood right now. Probably wants a sixth if he's going to keep going into uh, fishing ship production. He's going for another... Um, the build here from Burrito is not the greatest. He's going for another lumber camp already. And now he's going out for the hunt. Even though there's a boar back here. Does he not see that? Okay. He sees it. Interesting. Loom coming in for our Franks player, Baguette. Baguette's build is, is actually not looking terrible. Seven on wood right now. He's stalling out the dock, though. Really wants a couple more fishing ships, which he makes now. Brings in that other boar. Doesn't manage to get that one under the TC either, but the build for him is, is looking decent. Has a minute of idle TC time. Minute 40 idle TC time for Burrito. And now he goes for a mill. Right. Hmm. These guys, mm, I'm thinking around 1k at the moment. We'll see though. Burrito brings over his scout. It's harder to tell on water maps 
Because people don't really know how to play water maps until you're like 16, 1700. There are like, you know, guys who have studied the builds for water maps, but in general, most people have only studied the builds for maps like Arabia or Arena. And they really struggle as soon as you add in stuff like fishing ships. The standard water build is not hard, but I've noticed a lot, especially playing with controller player against people in like 1400, 1500. They really don't know the order for it. It's really simple, but I don't think they've taken the time to really learn it. Tom the Calm. Thank you for the tier one, my dude. Thank you so much. All right. Red is on the way to Feudal Age. Red goes for another mill, and he's got a lot of Ibex here to take with this mill. Teal is running away, trying to maybe get back to this transport ship. No, he's just running with the scout. He's trying to get back there. Transport ship, it, it, it kept going. And now he's going to hop inside here. And Red's going to chase that around. Teal is now on the way up to Feudal Age. Is he going for an FC? At the moment, it kind of looks like it. He's got 200 food in the bank. Still with five fishing ships. 16, vil or 16 eco on food. He's got villagers on the berries. Villagers on the deer. These being brought in. Boar is still untaken at the back. He's going to be quite upset with himself when he notices that. But he should have enough res, honestly, to click up to Castle Age once he's there. Red is already in Feudal and goes for one Fire Galley, but he's housed. That's the worst. Dude, that's the worst feeling ever. When you're on a water map or like a map like Arena where you're not being pressured super early. And you click up and you're at 25 out of 25 pop and you just think, Oh, I'll make a house on the way to Feudal Age, but I don't need to make it now. And then suddenly you get to Feudal Age... And you don't have a house. <laughs> that sucks. All right, Teal. Going to be in Feudal Age. And he's going to have enough res to click up. He's going to have enough. He just needs the two buildings. Doesn't quite have enough for Market Blacksmith. What is he? Oh, no, dude. What? Oh, no. Oh, look at the res burning a hole in your pocket. You got to go for those extra buildings right away. He's now taking the boar under his TC. He queues up five, four fire galleys. So he really delayed his uptime to Feudal Age. And then he queued up four fire galleys instead of going market blacksmith. And then you can immediately click up to Castle Age, which is going to give you a lot more than these four fire galleys will. Houses being added to the front. Still, the only fire galley is at the back there from Red. Teal does know where the docks are from Red, which is good. He can go over here and harass this right away. But think about it. He could already be up right now. Delay these fire galleys by like 20 seconds. It's going to be the same result of you clearing up this fish. And you're going to be on the way to Castle Age. And instead, he doesn't even have the second building. Doesn't even have the market yet. Goes for more houses on this side. Red does have the market though, and red is up to the castle age. 26 villagers with six fishing ships. About to be less though, as Teal continues to harass, and red goes for more fire galleys. Red should uh, move these fish away. I don't think you're going to be able to defend this area. I've run the statistical analysis and the ELO is 1164. All right. Red now being a little bit annoying. Teal is deciding to fight one on one like a man with the scout. And Red's going to kill a villager. But it's only going to be one vill and he loses the scout. So good job from Teal to finally clear that up. And Teal will get the market down and he's going to be clicking up to the castle age with 1600 food in the bank, 800 food left over for whatever he's going to do there. 
I'd love to see him go on stone right now. Maybe transport over. Use this water control. Transport over. For a castle on Red's Island. To go for Janissaries. Red is now getting the War Galley upgrade. Fire ships would help a lot here. Versus Fire Galleys. No punch mod. I don't know what's happening with the punch mod, dude. I tried to re-enable that. We went through a whole process with JMB where I tried to re-enable it. And it didn't work. I have it enabled in my mods. It's just not activating for some reason. I wonder if it's like capture age. I don't want to pull up the menu right now because it might show the player names. Why no demo? Well, he wanted the War Galley upgrade first, right? And he's going to be able to push this away. Still has four fishing ships alive over here. And he's gone for the landing. Okay, so stable coming out here from Baguette. Burrito almost has enough to click up to Imperial Age once he gets the Castle Age. He now goes for the mining camp on this side on the stone. A little bit too late though as the Knights will be coming into the base. Good pressure from Baguette. Really good pressure here. I'm curious as to what Burrito goes for. He's got so much on gold. He's got so much on food. Does he just continue with the navy? Are we going to see some land pressure? It's now barracks from him. And this is going to be pure panic when he sees this knight here. What he should do when he sees this knight is probably go for a monastery. Because then you don't need to make the barracks. And then another building. Monks would be good in defense, especially with 600 gold in the bank. But he's going to run away from that stone. And here's a forward castle from Baguette. Baguette is going to cut off this stone completely. It'll cut off a section of this wood line. And it'll give him a good launching pad in towards the gold. You have more than one account? No, 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 no. We, we, I was casting with that punching mod before, Monkey Lumps. I was casting with it before. On my main account. That's not the issue. Alright, knight is super weak. Villagers engage against the knight. One more goes down. And now the knight is dead. And war galley is incoming. From Teal. So Teal wants to go for a stable. Wants to get the ships upgraded with war galley. And that's it. I guess. He still has a lot of food. A lot of gold. Floating. Taking gold over here. Completely abandons this side. I don't think the castle would have ranged that. I don't think it can range that. But it's a safe bet to take gold over here. And now a siege workshop. Please don't tell me Burrito is going to go. Okay, so. Burrito, if he sees the castle right here, he's playing as Turks. What I would do in this situation is try and make a monastery. To get your second castle age building. And then try and click up to imp with these resources. Sell your stone. Sell the remainder of your wood. And you instantly get the ability to make bomber cannon in imperial age. You can take out this castle for free. And you also have the monastery to make some monks on the way up. To deal with the knights. But what he's going to try and do is go for rams. And go for camels. To take this out in castle age. He's going to ram push against franks. Yep. Yeah. Frank's one of the worst civs to ram push again. Because they can make throwing axemen. Which is horrendous. If the axemen can just sit on the other side of this castle and range the rams. I'll ram push your mom? No, you won't. You'll talk about it, but you won't. Camels. Lots of camels here from Teal. Still has the fish alive. Where are his fire ships? They're looping around this way. They're looking for opportunities. There's still a fire ship in there from Baguette. And Baguette is still on the run with these fishing ships, dude. What is the efficiency on these fishing ships? <laughs> nice. Nice general efficiency here. 0.5% efficiency. These things have been running for a very long time. Knights coming in. Camels will be able to deal with this. 
Now, Red has all the tools here to respond. He even already has a nice little nook for the Axemen to sit in. My question is whether he, if he puts the villagers in here, ungarrisons on this side, he can repair this for a long time. He can go for some Axemen and he'll have all the tools available to him to stop this. Doesn't look like that's what he's going to do though. He's going to sit in this castle for the time being. Try and take some HP off with the knights initially. And now attack with the villagers. Camels coming in. Garrisons the villagers once again. Now the camels are taking up space that the ram needs to be attacking the castle. And unfortunately, this castle is going to die. <laughs> oh my god. Make it act. No, that's not it. <laughs> Murder holes, bruh. You have all the tools that you need. He's now looping around with the knight. Once he gets murder holes, if he keeps this castle alive, once murder holes comes in, he can kill the camels and then work on the rams. And he might actually be able to save this with just knights. And now he's making throwing axemen. He's hurt us. Good. Good. Axemen are now out. Murder holes is in, which means he can attack the rams. Probably want to go for the castle or the camel first and then hit the rams. Whatever. I guess it goes down anyway. I just... I, I can't. Second town center for red. Messy game for both. You see the idle TC time really racking up. Really racking up. And red goes for another... <laughs> goes for another castle. <laughs> you can't wall on this rocky terrain uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh teal manages to deny that and the ramp push works that's a great push back there from burrito it's a great push back from burrito and burrito is keeping his island safe burrito has 38 villagers right now killing off some more knights the eco's not looking fantastic, but what he does had and what and what he's done is added in more fishing ships. And he's getting gill nets now, so he's done a really good job of spreading his fishing ship economy out, which is great. Means he's going to have a ton of food. He doesn't need to invest into farms. He can go to stone over here, get some houses down because he's really struggling with that. And you look at the villager count right now, 38 to 45, but he does have the overall eco lead. This pathing, goddamn! I didn't see any pathing issues there. I saw bad unit control. I didn't see any glaring pathing issues. Camel clears that up. It's working out. Teal coming over with f four file ship or fire ships. I mean, the camels chasing the bills. Oh, the bumping and stuff. Yeah. But that's always been there. That's always been in Age of Empires. You might think back to like the golden years of like user patch, patch or whatever. But that pathing was always there. They bump slightly more now. And since that pathing has always been there, it's on you to control your units better. To anticipate that bad pathing. It's 100% on you. It's been the same for many years. At this point, it's just the game. I don't think you can complain about it. I think there's certain instances you can complain about, but... Not stuff like that. Okay, fire ships going down. Jesus, I have accountability. Yep, that's right, Hoyle. All right, another TC in the middle here from Baguette. And Baguette is going for another castle. He's not afraid of using that Frank bonus for cheaper castles. And look at who's on the way to Imperial Age. It is Burrito. Burrito is going up. Does seem like we should have been able to get better pathing with DE. The problem is the code. It's the same base code, right? 
as the original game. And if you touch anything related to pathing, it screws up a million things. It is not a it is not a simple fix. I would rather they stay away from touching pathing. Or and be very careful about it because I've seen things go wildly wrong with like the simplest fix that doesn't seem to have anything to do with pathing. People always act like it's just an easy fix. It's not. Tell us about your fishing trip. I didn't catch anything. Literally nothing. I got skunked. Big time. Careening on the way. Imperial Age is now in from Teal. And ooh, immediate cannon galleon. However, it's kind of under threat from this castle. So he's going to have to ungarrison them on either side. Set the waypoints on either side here. That's big. Utilizing that free chemistry with Turks. And he's building up enough cannon galleon. I guess don't trickle cannon galleon. Don't trickle galleon. Don't trickle siege water unit. There is no simple phrase. Like trickle treb sounds really good. But like trickle CG doesn't sound great. Honestly. Camels are in the ship, by the way. They're going around. They're going all the way around here. And fire ships are out here. Fire ships are here from red, so even the cannon galleons won't get much value. There's nothing to support these cannon galleons against the fire ships from red. There are fires now coming in from burrito, but... Red has the help of that castle to help take out these fire ships from Teal, and it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Cannon Galleons will start working away on that castle. There is a transport here with a monk. Probably has a relic, and he's heading back. Another castle on the way from Red, and he is on the way to Imperial Age. Not with the town center in the middle, with the town center back here. So that's good from him. This TC... Under threat of being taken down by the cannon galleons. Lots of cannon galleons now. We got four of these bad boys in the middle here from Teal now. Knight going into the transport, and the knight is going to be let out. And is there any response? There's a monk, and that's it. Camels are still harassing back here. I don't think Red has noticed this. I don't think Baguette's noticed this at all. Baguette. Oh, okay. That was loud. And that was indeed a town bell. And many, many villagers are now hiding in. Minus 100 elo. Yep. Minus elo. Ring, ring, ring the bell. I'm thinking this is like 900. I'm thinking this is 900. If it's stupid but it works, it ain't stupid. I mean, I, I guess. I don't know. He made four stables in the middle. You're right. <laughs> he's now he's transporting everything. Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Solid late game strategy. Red will now be using all of his APM, all of his available actions to transport these knights one at a time across. And he's still going to get damage because of it. There's limited numbers of camels there. Heavy camel coming in from Burrito. The monk will go down. Cavalier incoming from our Frankish player. 88 villagers versus... Or sorry, 84 versus 42. So literally double the amount of villagers for Red. Even though he's losing this middle area. And he's killing Bills. And there, right now, there's no response. Even though he does have the res, there's no response from Burrito. He's trying to get that second stable up. Doesn't happen. 
One stable producing heavy camels, but he's losing a lot of villagers. Now he's down to 34 villagers. This is terrible for Burrito. And this is looking great for Baguette. He's losing the stuff on the middle, but he's, I mean, he's sending more vills. Probably will send more cavalier with his transport ship. Maybe even make some stables on the opponent's island. We can try that too. There we go. Oh, this is over, dude. Burrito. He's going to have the, the navy. But nothing else. And the navy is even going to fall. This is why you make stables on the middle. This is why you make stables on the middle, folks. This is it. Because Cavalier are the counter to Cannon Galleons. Ooh. Okay, not anymore. But we've got stables over here. Heavy camels are here from Burrito. He still has the fishing economy. He's got 20 fishing ships. And he has gill nets. So it's not bad. Uh, but it it's not the same as having 89 villagers like Red does. Is sending the camels over. He has noticed these stables. And he's going to go attack them with his cannon galleons. I'm... I'm so surprised that red has not made any navy i know franks don't have a great navy in late game but making just a few ships to deal with the cannon galleon seems like a good idea he's gonna go for more transport ships instead where is he making these of course in the front of course he wants to get these uh cavalier off the island so he's gonna make him in the front goes for another castle in the initial castle position with one villager no less Second armor upgrade just now coming in. He's got nine cavalier. Bunch of them are sitting in the middle, though, waiting for transport, and they're going to find one now. Okay, does Teal see this? Surely that goes up in time, though, right? I mean, he's made palisade walls, so how couldn't it go up? Of course it's going to go up. Two villagers, 24%. Teal clearly sees it. Teal has heavy camels, demo or canning aliens, a monastery here to make monks, a siege workshop with bomber cannon available. My money's on red to get that castle up 100%. And once again, I don't know how they couldn't attack that, but Red is on the other end of the island using the transport ships well. And he can raid even more villagers here. Still only 34 villagers for Burrito. Paladin! Paladin on, on Northern Isles! <laughs> My man is going Paladin! On a water map, let's go, dude. Let's go. I love this. I mean, he's not he's not a navy guy. Clearly, he's just not a navy guy. He is a paladin man. That's what we're gonna see. We're also gonna see another castle on this side. Like I said, my money was on the castle going up. That's gonna be able to kill the monastery, eject the two relics. Give him a launching point for this invasion. More Cavalier coming out on this side. Castle is denied on that side by the Cannon Galleons. How much gold does Red have left? Red actually has quite a bit of gold over here. And he's got three relics, but... Doesn't have any water control, unfortunately. I believe Franks get fast fire, though. Hoardings, too. Wow. Franks get fast fire, so they should be able to clear up all this stuff. If he wants to. Got one fire ship only. Is killing a ton of vills. 28 villagers now for Teal. 28 villagers. He has 9 cannon galleons. 26 camels. And still a ton of res in the bank. He, I think he can defend against the paladin. With the amount of camels he has. They're all chilling up here. He can defend against the paladin. 
And Red is making it easier for him, only attacking that mining camp. He's going to be able to take out the Camel, though. And once he does that, he'll be able to take out even more villagers. And Teal is at risk of dropping below 20 villagers. We're 50 minutes into the game. And the mining camp will go down. And there's more Paladin on the way here for Red. Heavy demolition ship incoming for Red. Another castle. Another castle from Teal. Cannon Galleon's now coming over. Red making more docks on this side. Stables are being cleared up. Blast Furnace on the way. So these are going to be fully upgraded uh, camels for Burrito. Problem for Burrito is just the eco constantly, right? He has a lot of fishing ships. His good map pre He's adding more cannon galleons. <laughs> Holy shit. And they're elite. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my man saw Turks and he's like, yes, please. Come on! Thank you. He'll deny the castle. Perfect. Perfect. He denies the castle and he's going to push this back. He's got a lot of camels. Man, this could... You know what? If Red's not careful, if Red doesn't add military or a navy in, this could be Teal's game. Teal is not noticing this dock. There's already three heavy demos in there and we got six cannon galleons all stacked up on top of each other. Hmm. Teal needs uh, something to deal with this castle. Oh my god. Looks like a demo connected against those. Demos are going to connect against the cannon galleons over here. Red's castle is going to stay alive for the time being. Teal still has a decent amount of res saved up for a rainy day. But now he's losing the cannon galleons to the fire ship. And he's losing cannon galleons over on this side to demo ships. But he is going to take out the castle. What is this game, honestly? <laughs> I like this one. This is good. We see Paladin. We see Heavy Demo. We see Elite Cannon Galleon. We see a Heavy Camel Rider. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no! Okay, that's not bad, honestly. That's not bad, right? It's not bad. You clear up the stables. You clear up all the forward villagers. We don't know the rank, Venner. We don't know the rank. I'm thinking this is probably like 900 elo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, the humanity. Stop. No. Whoa. No. Okay, he only took two ships. Not the worst thing in the world. Teal's adding more galleys. Teal can take this. Burrito can win this. 100%. Don't know about the fish trap placement. TBH, SMH, OMFG. Um, but if he gains water control, Teal can definitely take this game. More Paladin going down. Paladin still trying to snipe Vils, and Teal is back up to 30 villagers now. Is Teal only making cannon galleons? He was. And he's killed another landing. You know what? I mean, credit goes... Credit where it's due. They get... The landings have been killing villagers. He's, he's still gone for them. Twice now. Tried to make it work, but Teal has repelled them twice. He's done a good job. Keeping his island safe. And he's cleared up all this stuff on the middle from Red. Red now has more villagers out there. He's a persistent one, if nothing else. And Teal is going for Galleon. Missing out on Fletching, though. So, that's not great. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why would you ever make this fish trap? Fist traps. 
<laughs> this man needs to spend. Listen, this man needs to spend a minute with some BF players. All right, you need. You need some BF players to teach you how to place fish traps because this is just, this is simply not working. I'm looking for more. Where are the other ones? They're only over here, I guess. This is simply not it. Red is going to land him to death. I think Teal still has a good shot here. Look at this. Teal is going to come over here. As long as he doesn't get blown up by the demos, he's going to start killing everything. He's going to start killing the houses. Red is going to be, like, housed. Red is going to lose all his production buildings. Killed a bunch of fires, but Red now only one dock. Only one dock, guys. Only one dock on the entire map, and it's in the middle. And Red has 7,000 7, food. This is his whole plan. His whole strategy to keep Teal away from his island is one dock in the middle. This is Teal's game. This is Burrito's game. Somehow. Somehow, some way. And... <laughs> it's fine. Don't mind me. We're just... It's all right. I'm just going to make my way casually through here. Oh, dodges two shots. <laughs> and Teal says, all right, man, whatever. You can you can do that. That's fine. Camels from Teal. Now on the island from Red. Lots of resources here. 39 villagers. It's most he's been at in a while. And now the monastery is even going to go down. Doesn't make a difference because he's got 2,300 gold. But uh, our boy Baguette is going to struggle quite a bit. He's going to struggle a lot against this. These fish traps, dude. I I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going... Does he think, like... I guess logically, right? If you're looking at this in, like... Kind of real-life sense, as, he, as Red will lose the remainder of the villagers on the middle. You don't want to put your fish traps too close to each other, right? Because then you're, you're you're not catching as many fish. You want to spread them out. So I guess that's what he's thinking. Maybe they get more value if they're spread out. But this is a video game. Alright, we all know paladins are the counter to cannon galleons. Red is landed again, but the camels are here once again. And Teal manages to fight it off for, what, the third time? The red is trying to come over here. Red has 21 paladins queued, and they're all from these two stables. All from these two stables. Are you noob, says Meat Pusher 1. Maybe if you had a more respectable name, I would answer the question, Mr. Meat Pusher 1. <laughs> what happened to... Was there a Meat Pusher already? <laughs> you had to add a 1 afterwards? You just... You really wanted the name, though. Castle coming up from Burrito. Uh-oh. Fish traps. Uh-oh. 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 I guess maybe this was the plan from Burrito. If my man is going heavy demo, maybe I should spread these out. You want less collateral damage, you know? Maybe one means he's the best. Ooh, maybe there's a meat pusher too. Maybe. Bomber cannons now from Burrito. It took a long time, but they're here. He's going to be dealing with these stables, and he's got the camels to deal with the paladins. Bomber cannon's a little bit out of position, though. Has to be careful with those. That's a big investment, especially with only 700 gold left. 700 gold left. Does he have access to gold? Oh, he's got a lot. He's got a lot here. Yeah, he's got almost 3,000. And he's going for the gold on the middle. This should be Teal's game. I can't believe it. Red was looking to be in such a good position. But he's going to lose another landing. And I think all this stems back to the fact that Baguette just does not want to make Navy. 
all he's making is heavy demos. Even though Franks lack the uh, final range upgrade, Bracer, even just Galleons here would be great. Even just Galleons without Bracer would be great from the Franks. They clear everything that Burrito has. Make like 12 docks at the back. He's making more docks over One more dock over here. 12 docks at the back. You know? And you're good. He made another dock over here. Still no fletching, by the way, for the Galleons from, uh, from Burrito. He's only got chemistry on those bad boys. And he's going to lose both the Bomber Cannons. What is the most creative way to make someone rage quit? Um, build, take over their island, right? Build uh, 5,000 mills or blacksmiths. Any, any building with an animation like this. You see how it's spinning? And eventually you'll have so many and the game will overheat and start to lag like crazy. And if that doesn't make him rage quit, I don't know what will. Another monastery from Baguette, but everything on his islands, I think, can be ranged by the elite cannon galleons. Yeah, he can access everything. And he's going to come in here with the camel, and Baguette is... I mean, Baguette's dead. How, how you can be dead with 13k food and 2k gold and 2300 stone and 5k wood? I don't know, but he's dead. He's dead. What would you rather have a low elo player do? Ring the town bell or let all his villagers die by doing nothing while the paladin arrives? How about simply garrisoning the vills? Garrisoning the vills. I get town bell though. I, I, no. Town bell has a time and a place. The issue isn't the villagers going in the, the buildings. That's, that's fine for town bell. That's great. It's villagers from different parts of your economy that are not under threat going in buildings. That's the problem. So you're losing out on a huge amount of efficiency, right? Camel's raiding over here. Paladin's still doing work underneath this castle. Remember, no fletching. Ooh, fletching's in. Big, big, big. But that means the paladins aren't at home to defend, and more villagers will die from red. Dave is turning into T90. What are you talking about, Sharon? If I was turning into T90, I would have done the classic murder holes. Oh, big, 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 big. Boom. Demo takes it out. Cannon Galleons now from red. It's a nice addition. He saw how well they were doing for Burrito. He's going to lose this one, though. Still no Bodkin Arrow there for Burrito, and that means that even with Murder Holes, these Paladins are going to take a long time to go down. But the Camels are still raiding on this side. Now it's Baguette's turn to be down to 44 Villagers. He's got 26 Paladins queued from two Stables. Two Stables still refuses to make significant numbers of uh, naval units. Goes for another TC over here with what Villagers? I don't know. I guess they're coming across now. And he's trying to load up, trying to load up into transports. Maybe one last raid. Maybe that'll do it. There is only 30 vills for Teal. <laughs> so, and he did kill a lot of the villagers here. Just hanging out. He really loves paladins and he really loves transporting them across. He's living up to the name of Baguette. Always ask yourself, what would Meat Pusher 1 do? Yep. All right, Paladins taking out the Camels there. More Paladins on the way. Still hasn't added any extra stables. Still going out with the demo ships. Boom. And the demos haven't really done much for him. But the Paladins are still coming across. There's more camels queued, though. 
Burrito teching the heavy camel with all the upgrades was so good for him here. So good. He did that early too. Meant the paladins couldn't really get the damage done that Red was thinking. Red now manually clicks that barracks, which means he won't be able to do the villain. Oh my god, Red wholesale needed gold. Does this guess the yellow? If so, 1050 to 1100. Yeah, we don't know the yellow right now. We don't know the player names or the yellow. I've hidden both of those things. I'm going to say this is 900 and something. Maybe high 800s. Another transport ship coming across with heavy camels. And red still, oh man, these palisade walls have been screwing with me the entire game. He got another monastery up, folks. He does have the relics in once again, but the camels are heading over on this th this side. He also has 17 paladins, and he's loading up, bro. Yo, this is going to be a big raid. But there's a lot of camels. God damn it. Every time I think red might be able to do something, Teal has the answer. It's going to go after this dock, which should be good. That's the fishing eco for burrito and he's still guys he's still hanging on he's got 45 bills with 22 cute he's still hanging on and burrito has to be careful he could take a lot of damage from this raid uh, he's got lots of camel numbers maybe not damn it love to see red go for navy still navy is big here navy is real big and now red is adding barracks and he's probably going to go into pikeman here Have you listened to the pineapple thief? No. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Bod Canero coming in for burrito. Love to see that. More elite cannon galleons on the way. Lots of camels chasing after this army from Baguette. And Baguette once again looking for villager kills. Teal is back up at 44. I feel like it's going to be a whole lot less soon. Uh, not unless, well, Red takes a fight just against the military. He's going to lose all his paladins. We'll kill a few villagers, but not too many. Probably three villagers going down here. And lots of paladins biting the dust as well. But, oh, fast fire ship. Finally. 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 We needed this so much longer ago. We needed this. In early Imperial Age, the fast fire ships. Captain Flaccid, thank you for the 10 months, man. Thank you. We needed this so long ago. Now build up enough. Build up enough to make a difference. Send your transport ship away. Go for more docks. Oh my god. Yo, can Baguette come back into this? He does have the relics. He's really struggling for wood now, which sucks for him. He's getting heavy demo, and he's getting fast fires. Ooh. I don't know, man. Teal hasn't done enough to finish him off. Teal never went for the finishing blow. If Teal sent villagers over to the island and had production buildings here, siege workshops and whatnot, this would have been over. But uh, he was only raiding with camels, which is not a great raiding unit at all. And here come the fast fires over here. Still no bracer uh, for these galleons. And the cannon galleons are going to go down. That's a big gold investment there from Teal. Teal does have access to all this stuff in the middle. Now Teal is getting stone. So he's thinking about another castle somewhere, maybe. Castle in the north here, which would be good. But look at, look at what the fast fires can do. Look at what the fast fires can do. This was so simple. That's exactly what you needed. Yes. <clears throat> Town patrol is exactly what we need in this situation.
Perfect. He's going to be able to see everything. Look at this. Perfect circle. Oh my god. A perfect circle around this. That's actually quite satisfying. Paladin's going to be able to deal with the camels over here. <clears throat> Baguette's still selling food. 61 bills now for Baguette. 52 for Teal. I think that's a new record. And Baguette has shown up once again on the island from Teal. He'll take a few camels with him, but he's going to lose more paladins. It's just a constant story of losing paladins at this point. KD is remarkably even. Eco KD, remarkably even. Idle TC time. Little bit more for, for red. But that's because Burrito has only made two TCs this entire game. Okay, here he comes again. Here he comes again. And oh no! Is Teal going to load up all these camels at the same moment that Red sends the Paladins? I think that's going to be the case. I think Teal is going to send his entire defense force over to Red's base. Fishing ships now being added from Red. Okay. Alright, there's a fire ship here, so that might be a problem, but... <clears throat> Teal is now going to send that over. Fire's attacking over there. I don't think there's anything to kill this transport ship. It's at 27 HP. I don't think there's anything that can one-shot it in the vicinity, however. As Red loops around once again with the Paladins. And the Camels are in. <clears throat> camels are in on this side. Pikemen immediately being used here. By red goes for that second infantry armor upgrade and teal is now losing villagers but he does have enough camels in defense he's got these ones to bring over to and this is just a never-ending battle it's a stalemate who is more stale though that's the question who is going to be more stale in this matchup i feel like red is going to be more stale and Teal is going to be more mate. Dave, could you please watch your mouth? I'm casting your stream to one of the meeting rooms at work. No. Baguettes can get very stale. Yeah, I guess it's... Yeah, I guess baguettes could get very stale. Treadmill crane? For what? Four trebs. Queued up behind this. Food eco is severely lacking too. So if this if this guy, if Burrito wants to keep spamming camels, he's going to have to look after his food eco a little bit better. Food eco for red is looking okay, but the gold eco, once again, looking pretty rough. I don't think he's got any gold mines left. He does not. <clears throat> ah, he's going to go for a castle. I see. Finally, folks. Finally, finally, finally. Teal is going to go for buildings on Red's Island. He has had control over the shorelines for a very long time. This has been wide open. He's been pressuring on this side the entire time. And finally, he sends some villagers over with Navy to back it up as well. Red does have a trebuchet. And it looks like he's going to go try and attack this castle. But the Navy is going to be there from Burrito. Transport ship is hiding in the middle. Imagine he snipes that with the treb. Oh, that would be the that dude. That would be the biggest play ever. But look at this! <laughs> look at this! Red going for another castle. Paladin's getting some good initial hits. Castle is trying to go up. Teal is just yoloing the villagers. And this means the paladins are getting good hits behind. If Teal's not careful, that castle could still go up. The villagers are still working there. 93%, 94%, 96, 97, 98, 99. It's up. And Murder Holes is in for red. But there's another castle coming here from Teal. And suddenly this game, which had nothing going on, has a double landing. I don't know. Zaisich, thank you for the 11 months. Who, who's... I feel like Teal still has the advantage, but like, damn, dude. Chivalry? You get it now? You get chivalry now? 
The problem with Teal is the food eco for me. It's gonna have bomber cannons to take out this castle. He's going for stables over here. Could go for Hussar. Could go for more camels. But the issue is definitely going to be the food eco. And this Treb is, is going to be doing work against the castle. There's nothing that Teal has here to deal with that. The bomber cannons are at home. And barracks and stables being added on this side. Talk about Teal's mill upgrades. Well, he doesn't have that many farms. I mean, he's got 10 farms. He wasn't really uh, farming, right? He was working on fish farms, not land farms. Okay, Red comes in, clears up the camels. Only two food in the bag for Teal. The castle's going down. And look at the unit spam here for Red. They're not good units, <laughs> but I mean, they're units, right? Maybe he needs to stop streaming them into that castle. Vill repairing villagers will die. Repairing villagers will die against this eventually. And the castle's gonna die. And Red keeps his island safe once more. What a game. What the hell? This is one of those epic games that you remember for a very long time. If you're playing in it. What the fuck is this? Is this some kind of sick joke? Red's still building over here, by the way, but the castle, the castle did die. The pikemen are coming out. Demos are trying to run the gauntlet here between the castle and the shoreline. And Red has managed to deny this landing from Teal. Now that is a YouTube thumbnail. What? This right here? And then right along the top, it says, uh, Northern Isles. Something, blah, 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 low elo, blah, I don't know. Why? You're deleting vills. Why? You have 46. You were at 64 out of 175 population. Surely you can find something better for them to do. What the hell? Oh my god, and Red's coming. Red's gonna win this game. Baguette is gonna win this game. Unbelievable. Baguette is now trebbing down this castle. Only trebs in defense here for Burrito, and he only has one of those unpacked. He's going to have to get some really lucky shots with his trebs. He's repairing the cat. Oh, he's repairing the castle. Maybe, maybe it won't be enough. And maybe red will actually run out of wood before the game finishes. Who knows? Light cab are in. Light cab working on the Navy. Light cab working on the villagers. 44 villagers only now for Teal. Still only 16 on food. Army has been dropped off over here now from red. Oh my goodness, dude. This guy in his transport ships. I mean, he just appears places. And that's it. Burrito taps out. And how the hell did that game even, like... what? The swings on that game was ridiculous. That was a really good one, honestly. Thank you to whoever submitted that. Uh, Burrito, great control with the cannon galleons. He prioritized water. It was the right decision to make. Good defense with the, the camels. Every time he saw landing from red, he went and immediately dealt with it. That was great. Red, persistence. I mean, the guy just doesn't stop. He just keeps landing all over the place. Unit choices were very suspect. Decision making was very suspect. But the transports just everywhere. He's just 
keeps coming back like some sort of weird rash. And the raids were crazy from him. Eco KD, 149 to 159. Like, wow. And the regular, the normal KD, 470 to 444. Just, wow, dude. I'm going to say 879. That's what I'm going to say. These were players that uh, would probably look better on a regular land map and just kind of struggled on water. Everyone around that range, 1050 from some people, 1050, water is hard. Okay, 980. Let's take a look at the stats first before we go over. Whew. Look at the eco there for red. Good eco balance. Especially the food. Twice the amount of food collected. More gold collected, even though Teal had the middle at the end. Red had it early. He also had the relics. Also used the market a lot more than Teal. More wood collected as well. More stone. Damn, dude. Damn. All right. You guys ready? Bah. Here we are. And we've got Lee Poo Poo against Lone Lion 95. Lee Poo Poo is 1074. 1074. Damn, man. And Lone Lion 95. Strode is so happy. <laughs> Lone Lion 95 is what? Suck it, chat. Okay, Strode. Com you're way too comfortable here. <laughs> yeah, your statistical analysis of 1064 was not bad, actually. Honestly, it wasn't bad at all. Okay, what what is uh what is Lone Lion ninety five? I want to get his rating. Nine eighty five for Lone Lion. Okay, so maybe they were a bit lower when they played this, or maybe Lone Lion was a bit higher. At the time in the game, Lone Lion was one thousand and Lee Poo was twelve ten twelve. Okay, so one player is going in one direction, the other player is going in the other direction, and it's reflected on who won here. Very even game, though. Both players kind of confused, I think, with water a little bit. And uh, we got ourselves a back and forth. Classic. Messy game. Messy, messy game. Oof. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. If you want to submit your rec, your 1v1 rec, you can go into my Discord. Link is down below. Thank you for watching Rec Roulette. And I will have more videos for you shortly.